So question five. It says the equation 2x cubed plus x squared minus 1 equals 0 has exactly one real root. Show that for this equation, the newton raphson formula can be written as that there. xn plus 1 equals 4xn cubed plus xn squared plus 1 over 6xn squared plus 2xn. So for this, we're going to need the formula booklet again. So as I've said many times, you always need the formula booklet at one side, where it's open in a tab in your browser while you're doing the questions on screen, or whether it's a paper copy next to you, you must always have it at hand. So the formula that we're going to use is this one here. So the newton raphson one from the formula booklet. So it says the formula we're going to use is xn plus 1 equals xn take f of x over f dash of xn. So we've got f of x equals 2x cubed plus x squared minus 1. Which means the differential of that f dash x is 6x squared plus 2x. And that's it there. So therefore the newton raphson formula is xn plus 1 equals xn take so on the top we've got f of xn which is 2xn cubed plus xn squared take 1 all over f dash xn which is 6xn squared plus 2xn. And notice that isn't yet what we've been asked to find. But notice that this is a single fraction, whereas this is two separate terms. So we need to combine this into a single fraction now. So let's give the first term the same denominator as the second term. So it equals xn times the denominator of the other one over itself so times 6xn squared plus 2xn over 6xn squared plus 2xn and extend that there then we're going to take all of the numerator here so take all of that so take 2xn cubed take xn squared, double take, 1, equals, let's multiply this out, so 6xn cubed plus 2xn squared, take 2xn cubed, take xn squared, plus 1, and that's all over 6xn squared, plus 2xn, which is equal to, so we've got 6xn cubed, take 2xn cubed, that makes 4xn cubed, then deal with the squares, so plus xn squared, plus 1, that's all divided by 6xn squared plus 2xn. Let's just check that that matches the answer before. Yet yeah, 4xn cubed plus xn squared plus 1 over 6xn squared plus 2xn. So we've shown it. So now part B. So it says using the formula given in part A with the first iteration x1 equals 1. That's the formula there. I've just copied it here. Find the values of x2 and x3. Well notice it's given us the formula. So even if you couldn't do part 1 in showing that that's the iterative formula, you could still get these uh, these marks here. So we've got x1 equals 1. And what we need to do in the calculator now is store 1 in the answer button. So 1 equals, now 1 is stored in the answer button. And let's type this iterative formula in there. So fraction button first, then we've got 4 answer cubed plus answer squared plus 1 over 6 answer squared plus 2 answer press equals to get the second iteration which is 3 quarters so x2 equals 3 quarters then x3 
Press and equals again. We get two thirds. So that's that part done. So that's part B that we've just done. Then C, explain why for this question the newton raphson method cannot be used with x1 equals naught. So to do that, we've got to go right back up to here where we worked out the differential. Well, if we sub naught into the differential, we get zero, meaning that at x, uh, x1 equals zero, we have a stationary point. So x1 equals zero implies f dash of x1 equals zero, therefore stationary point. So at a stationary point, if we try to sub in a stationary point, the newton raphson method, i.e. which draws a tangent at that point, we'll see that the tangent's horizontal, so it'll never converge. So tangent horizontal, therefore will never converge. And that's that question done. For more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And to find out more about our Skype tuition and revision courses, go to alevelmathsrevision.com.